It's the five minute Gorilla Lift install video. First, identify the Gorilla Lift parts. You've got one that has square ends and you've got one that has a square end and a chamfered end. You will notice that Gorilla Lift and the website go together. Place the chamfered end on your rail, clamp them in place. This way you can make sure that everything lines up. We're going to take off A and we're going to mark B. We don't want to disturb B because we'd like B to stay where it is. Once I remove the clamps, I put this thing back where it was and I measure just to make sure I did not disturb B because it is a little bit jarring when it comes apart. Looks pretty good to me. Quarter inch. Now we remove A and we mark the holes on B. I'm using a small screwdriver and I'm scribing the edges. Now we're going to put B back on. Oops, we're going to put on A, sorry. We're putting A back in place. B, B, B. B, 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 B. Trying not to disturb B. Place our clamps. Tighten that temporarily. Replace this clamp. Nice and even. And then we're going to remeasure just to make sure. Now we've got A in place. The gap looks a little bit funny, but now we're going to remove B and we're going to mark A. Now that we've marked A, we're going to remove the clamps on A. We have some marks here. We can get them to come up. Let's see. There it is. Focus there. Bam. Bam. Now we're going to take a punch and mark the center. All right, now that we have the centers marked, we're going to use an array of drill bits. We're going to start with small guys. We're going to go all the way up to half inch. All right, we have the pilot holes drilled. Piloter, piloter, and we're just going to keep getting bigger. All right, we got our holes drilled. How? They say half inch. I think I got away with um, seven sixteenths, uh, but I kind of rounded them around. So now, what you do is you put A on. You'll notice that our little holes there line right up. Okay, so we get this guy. Right, and he goes right in there. Like so. And he drops right in that hole. And you gotta make sure it's flat. You don't want it popped up. You want it to do, is they want you to put these two together first. And I'm assuming that's so that you can make sure that you got your bolt in there the right way, which is fine. However, I think you're just gonna need to pull that in from the bottom anyway. That guy, that guy. Line that guy up, bam. And then you got this guy here, obvi, boom. He goes like this. Right, drop him in there. Here. He lines up, and then you got him flush. Then you just got nuts and bolts on the bottom. All right, we've got all of our bolts in. 
you gotta be really careful not to go too, if you've got the tube, don't go too far. I might have squeezed these a little bit. I might have deformed that tube a little bit. Anyway, that's what she looks like. You should be able to see right down the middle there, and it should be flush all the way through. As you get your spring and get your cable, and then you get your cable, you're gonna straighten that out, and you're gonna slide it in. You want it to look like that. You want this to slide in. No kink around it. Okay. Like that. What you're gonna see is down here the cable came out. And it's nice and loose. And there's no screwiness going on. Now that you've got that guy in there, you've got to notice that there are two springs. There's the inner and the outer. I face those for the outside edge, like so. I get the big clevis. The big clevis goes through the hole, and it goes through both springs and out the other side. Both springs out the other side. Washer on. And then one of these fancy Jimmy Johnsons. What this thing does is it goes over that guy. It goes like that. And then that. Pow. And that's it. Now she's in there. On this end, you now have your Jimmy Johnsons hanging out. Get these pins, these washers, Cletus rollers, right? Pins, washers, Cletus rollers. Start out with the top one. Put it in above. Bam. Cletus pin goes in the outside. Bam. Goes through. Two washers on the other side. Pin. That guy. Got your two washers. Shabba da ba. Boom, boom. See that? Two washers on there. Pinage. The old cleat ice. This guy goes right through there. And this goes like this. Down there flat. And then it goes over top. And then these guys flop over. And it's tough, but you gotta you gotta lock those. You gotta flip those reverse. This pin goes underneath there. Next roller goes underneath. You're basically creating that situation like that. Then you get your pin, your washers, power, 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 bam. Double washer action. Cha-chow, cha-chi, cha-chong. And then same situation, power it in. All right, next you're gonna put your tailgate in the upright position. You're gonna take as much slack as you can out of this guy and attach it with one of these S hooks. We got an S hook. And we're gonna just pop that guy. And then we're gonna take all the slack out. And we're just gonna hook them on. All right, so we've now got this thing connected. And what you've gotta do is you've gotta find that spot where it stays lowered and it won't pop it off the ground. This is still probably a little bit weird, but it's a good happy medium because what I can do is I can now lift this and it'll kind of stay like that, right? It'll sit at whatever position you put it at. So if I lower it down a little bit, lower it up, and then what happens is once you get it where you want it, I'm gonna put it a little bit higher. I'm gonna put it, instead of my hole being here, it's gonna be here. So we got our pilot hole drilled. Now we're gonna move up until we get to the half inch. All right, now you got this guy. You're gonna put this nut on this guy. So you're basically creating a collar. So that gets run all the way down. So it looks like this washer, wire, bolt, 
nut. Okay, then you get your other washer. That bad boy goes hippie, hippa, ha boo doo doo doo. Open this guy like that. So you have that. And then that goes in there like that. And then this goes on there like this. And then this guy beep 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 goes on there. And when you're done, it's all fun. Pow, pow, tighten. All right, so this is the Gorilla Lift Seize the Power. Basically, it comes with its own bolt. And so if you're putting these guys on, don't bother doing the last step. You got a bolt, a washer. There's actually a collar underneath there. Then there's a washer. Then there's a nylon. Then there's a nylon. Then there's a spacer. The spacer's not exactly great, great for my gate because it puts my wire a little bit out of line, but that's okay. And then there's a washer and a nut, 19 milli. Now they say that you want this to be able to stay in position. So running it a couple times, it looks like it's a little loose. A little bit loose. Keep it from falling down. Cool. Let's see if it works. Go around to this side. I'm gonna unlatch her, but you don't want to let it unlatch without holding. So I'll hold on. Okay. Still got to be careful because it will still go forward. But at least we know that it'll go that way. And then it seems to be working. Handle's working as expected. Let's see if we got them too. No, I think we hit the nail on the head. It is exactly where we want it.